Good morning, ESM. My name is Casey, and I want to wish everyone a happy Pride Month. But more about that from me after Elena's top news stories. Early this morning, multiple major websites suffered simultaneous global out global outages sites like Reddit, Spotify, Twitch, and others have reported problems. News outlets like CNN, the New York Times, BBC, as well as the British government are also facing outages. Cloud-based enterprise Fastly has confirmed it's facing an outrage on its status websites. They have said to have identified the issue and are working to fix it, but no details on what have caused the problem have been made available. In other news, a man who was shot in the head on Syracuse's south side is dead. He was shot in the head at 11.22 p.m. Monday and was taken to upstate and was later pronounced dead. The man's name was not released and he was 23 years old. This death makes the 11th homicide in Syracuse during 2021. In other news, Onondaga County today has fewer, fewer people with an active case of COVID-19 than at the start of the pandemic in March 2020. The county reported 101 active cases today, which is compared to 900 cases two months ago and more than 6,000 five months ago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pride Month, it's something that's been started with the Stonewall Riots in 1969 to now with Biden re-removing trans restrictions in our military. I think it's something we can celebrate and I think we can. There is many ways to, do, to, to enjoy it. We have parades and local events like the Pride Art Weekend, which is in Camillus and is happening this weekend, the 12th, or the CNY Gay, um, the Gay 5K, which is a virtual event. Also, if you want to avoid the heat, Netflix is doing a genre page with shows, movies, documentaries with um, the Pride theme. And speaking of parades, let's see what the weather is outside and how it will be with Emily. Good morning. Today is looking to be warm with rain showers all day. Tomorrow will be the same temperature with showers again, and Thursday looks to clear up and be warm with a high of 85. Friday goes back again to rain, but we will still have warm temperatures. Over the weekend, expect Saturday to have sunshine, while Sunday and Monday will have thunderstorms. I'm Emily with your weather. be prepared for some of the events coming up that are outside we want to make sure you bring lots of water and also apply sunscreen even though it's not 90 degree weather you can still get burns finally with all the rules rule changes make sure to bring your mask with you just in case some places may not let you in still but it's always good to have them and I could go on and on about all this but let's see what's happening to the sports but with our monthly runs out to, on me Syracuse men's lacrosse coach John Desco retired earlier this week. He was head coach for 22 seasons spanning from 1999 to 2021. Former women's head coach Gary Gate is set to take over as head coach. Women's coach, yep. Former Giants coach Jim Fassel has passed away at the age of 71. He led the Giants to the Super Bowl in 2001 and was the NFL coach of the year in 1997. The Phoenix Suns took Game one in the Western Conference Finals, 122 to 105 against the Denver Nuggets. Mikael Bridges led the led the team in points for Fe, in, for Phoenix with 22, and Nikola Jokic had 22 points for the Nuggets. The Brooklyn Nets took Game two against the Milwaukee Bucks, 128 to 86 in the Eastern Conference Semifinals. Kevin Durant had 32 points in the win for the Nets. In upcoming games, the softball team has a game at Whitesboro at five. The girls lacrosse team has their first sectionals game against Central Square at six. And the girls blue varsity golf team has a match as well. And I'm Tanner with Sports. Well, so that's everything for me. So please stay tuned for tomorrow where we talk more of the history of Pride Month and what is happening here in ESM. 
So from me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a happy and safe Pride Month.